I am on. Welcome this morning to the roundup of the liberating secret <laughs> weekend of the Jesus Revolution. And have we not have we not seen that? Have we not heard that? Do we not know? So we are wor we are opening with worship and praise together, and uh, Joel and Ron and Sandra and actually he got me into being with him for the first song. Is it the first song? Yeah. yeah. So I, I got in here and I was Jenny was making coffee and I put this I just put this little pad on and she just starts singing naturally. A song just came out of her mouth. I said, let's sing that. And why don't you sing it? Yeah. And Everyone we'll sing singing. with you. Yeah. Good idea. you Lord so you all have heard some of these songs uh, you know the past couple days but I just thought I'd repeat some so they're a little more familiar you can just we can just worship in them so if you've never done this it's okay but I'm gonna make you do it anyway just go ahead and close your eyes right now our imaginations are redeemed it's how he, God created everything out of his imagination. So your imagination is not imaginary. It's not pretend. So close your eyes. And whatever you think Jesus may look like, it's okay. Just picture him in your mind. And just sing these words to him. Love. is 
faithful as you The closer that I get to you The closer that I get to you Your face is coming into view I want you The more I want you My resistance moves aside My resistance moves aside Staring in your emerald eyes I want you The more I want you The more I want you Lovely You are lovely You are lovely You Crowns be 
before the Lamb of God and sing, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, to you are all things, you deserve. So we're going to do at least one more, but we'll see how much time we have. But the uh, big theme's been rest, <laughs> and uh, even the past several weeks, even leading up to here, the Lord just had me camped out in Hebrews 4. You know, there, there remains a rest to be entered, and therefore, enter it. <laughs> uh, it's not, this is, it's not a uh, future reality, right? It's, it's a now thing, and it's a, that perpetual Sabbath that we get to just... Stay in perpetual Sabbath. Uh, this song I, I, is probably one of the first songs I wrote when I joined Iron Bell, uh, that, the, that worship entity. And um, you know how you, you Ron's probably experienced it. You, write, you might write something and you're like, you look back on it and you're like, it means more to you now than it did when you wrote it because it's like God just opens things up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where you're like, oh, I didn't have a revelation of this part and I had already written it or whatever the Lord wrote it, you know? Yeah. And you're like, wow, this is so cool. So it's, I rest in you, the warmth of your light, it's shining through, it fills me with life. I fall into your open arms and I won't move. And I rest in you, your quiet shores, you just pull me through the ocean's roar. I feel your heart, you pull me to where you are. And so it's, I rest in you, I love your embrace, you make me new with the light of your face. You breathe on me, you open my eyes so I can see all your majesty. And uh, so in John, we, uh, I can't remember who was reading it yesterday, but they read uh, that passage where it's like, uh, it, talking about Jesus, the word, uh, he, was, he was the light, and that light is the life of men, right, mm -hmm. and women, mankind. It's the, it is, the light is the life. Yeah. You're like, what? Yeah. I don't have, I, I, like, I'm just now, like, kind of, my eyes are kind of like, okay, I think I'm understanding <laughs> what that means now. It's, so it's it's fun. So here we go. Okay, hopefully this is I think this is it too. Yeah. 
See 
all your majesty, all your majesty. time for one more okay okay all right so can we just rest in you father thank you we rest we rest we rest we stay in rest that's what's happening so uh hey real quick this is interesting while we're tuning up uh, it was probably in 1999 toby and i got married in 1999 this for those that don't know toby that's my wife right there uh, at that back table, and uh, I, it was interesting. Somebody uh, recommended that I, I write down a list of goals, and and then I forgot about that list of goals. I just for, I just put it in a drawer, but I, for, I had forgotten about it. And um, on the on the goals was something about ministry, something about writing music, something about worship. But I had also put on there like some grandiose things, like get a record deal, do this, like, and it all happened within like a five-year period, except for like two things on that list. Uh, this is so fun, because one of them was I wanted to uh, collaborate with Union Station. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not making That's this hilarious. up. And I'm like, that was 1999. I was like, because I, you know, I was, a, I was a geek fan of Allison and Union Station, but that, that, that whole sound, That's I was cool. like, I want to collaborate with them on something. We're doing it right now. It's happening on this stage in 2022. It's like, but uh, sometimes you just put the desires of your heart out there before the Lord, and he just kind of makes things happen. You're like, oh, this is fun. This is really interesting. I'm not making this. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> no, you, can't. you can't make this stuff up. We're, we're, I think we're too used to, you know, the, the austere God that goes, I can't give you anything you want because that would be, you know, bad for you. I think sometimes he goes, why not? You know, I think lots of times he does that. Yeah, so it's like uh, it's like the dad with the two sons. Uh, the son that will do with the Ferrari, what he would do with the Ferrari, gets the keys. The son that doesn't, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, doesn't get to drive the Ferrari. Right. The son that's knocking over the vase in the house and stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're like, uh, hey, you got a little bit of time I'm still. That, I'm that son. <laughs> I'm that son. <laughs> um so this song, this next song, this is kind of like the, that song. You know how you sometimes you hear people say, like, this is the song that is me. It's me. Like, it's the theme of my life, and it's about sonship. And uh, my friend Ben, uh, we went to college with this guy. He passed away uh, just unexpectedly from throat cancer, of all things. Never smoked his life. He had, like, four or five adopted kids. Um, uh, beautiful wife, Lisa. We all went to college together. And it was just a hard season because we were all believing for his healing. We really expected him to be healed. We were all hearing, like, really, the spirit was speaking, like, just really interesting things that gave you so much hope. To, uh, and you're like, okay, give me some hindsight so I can look at that through your perspective, Lord. Um, doesn't mean I understood. <laughs> just because the spirit's speaking doesn't mean you understand what he's saying. But uh, I do remember, I, they asked me to do the funeral. I did the funeral. I came home. I was just so depleted. I'm like, Lord, I need a word from you. And I need something right now. And I don't even know what I need. That's what was so interesting. I go, I don't know what I need, but I need something from you, and I need it right now. I, I did the old flip a grab the Bible, just put my finger down, and uh, God honors that for me a lot for some reason. Toby always gets something about cattle and, and, and ox, oxen. But uh, I flip open, and I put my finger down, and it landed on Proverbs 2.1. And I got two words in I crumbled to the floor my son and it just spoke right into my heart and I was like oh I'm your son I'm not just a son 
my son. And then you start putting the word, like we were talking earlier with Beth, you put the word my in front of any of his attributes. Now you're really starting to get to intimacy. He's not just our father, my father, my. And then you start knowing him that way. So I I sat down after um, that experience with the Lord, because I mean, I was just there for an hour on the floor, just like, oh my gosh, he's my father. I'm his son. And because he spoke it to me. And you're like, you know it. When he says it, can't undo it. It's the revelation of the knowledge of that thing comes into you. Yeah. You can't lose it. So sat down with this. And this is from the Father. Okay, this is, so this is not us singing to him. This is him singing to you, okay? I'm going to turn this down a little bit. time with me, my sons and daughters, I whisper I love you, earrings forever, drink up my love, cause nothing is better, I sing and dance when I'm thinking of you, and I'm always thinking of you, you'll sing and dance when you think of me too what I made you to do. Sons and daughters feel my pleasure on on my treasure.
coast I sing and dance And I sing and dance when I'm thinking of you And I'm always thinking of you You'll sing and dance when you think of me too It's what I made you to do Sons and daughters Sons and daughters Feel my pleasure For me All my treasure inheritance he's our inheritance but we are his <laughs> daughters and sons daughters and sons you've been ransomed new life has begun Yeah.